Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, I recently shared a practice video called Arm Balance Jam. It's amazing. Go check it out. Uh, but in that Arm Balance Jam video, I showed three arm balances. One of them I want to share in today's pro tip video, and it's called Titi Basana. So um, as we get into Titi Basana, it's an arm balance that requires some open wrists, some open hips, and open hamstrings. Um, so let's get started. So we're just going to start out first just by opening the wrists. And one of my favorite wrist openers is very simple. You're going to bring the hands in prayer pose. And then as you bring the hands in prayer pose, I'm going to turn my hands this way so you can see I'm actually opening my fingers, spreading them wide. So there's a strong connection. And this is essentially already the form that the hands are going to be in the arm balance. So we're already starting to kind of get uh, moving in that direction. So we're going to keep the hands, fingers open, hands connected, and then we're going to turn the fingers uh, to face the you. <laughs> I was lacking for a directional comment there. Okay. So as the fingers are pointing towards you, the head stays neutral. I'm just going to move the elbow side to side. You know, and if you want to get a little Bollywood action with the head going, go for it. I am not that talented or coordinated, so I will not attempt it. So just move it nice and sweet. Okay, and then shake out the hands. And we'll do one of the wrist openers. It's going to open up the forearms. Palms out. You see me do this a lot. Thumbs in, and then curl the fingers around the thumbs. And then we're just going to make really beautiful circles. You can make it one direction, uh, and then the other direction. Usually when you have wrist pain, the wrist pain is not uh, really coming from the wrist. It's coming from the lack of mobility in the muscles in the forearms. And then as the muscles turn to tendons going through the wrist, if the muscles are not stretching enough, then the stretch is happening in the tendon, which we don't want. All right, shake out the hands, nice and sweet. Okay, so we're going to start. Let's open up the back of the legs first, and we'll start with just a traditional forward fold. Okay, this forward fold will take the. Let's bring the feet together, and then as we bring the feet together, take a small bend in the knees, take the palms and forearms, if possible, behind the knees. We need to have a little bend in the knees. This allows the body to kind of get in deep. And when we get into the pose Titi Basana, there will be a slight bend in the knees to start, and then we're going to straighten the legs. So we'll start that action here. With the, from bent knees, start to press the legs back into the hands and straighten the legs. Cool. And then take a little bend, and then again press with the hands and straighten the legs. So I'm already feeling this. Like in my outer hips, I feel it in the back of my legs. And this is quite intense with the feet together. You can take the feet apart. Let's try that. Take the feet apart, a little bend in the knees, and then press it straight. Oh, I like that, actually. Bend the knees, press forward, stretch. And each time I'm coming in a little bit deeper with my chest, my heart, my belly, my face. One more time, bend the knees, press back, and stretch. Fantastic. Okay. And then we're going to do Prasarita Pada Tanasana. So I'm going to face you. Just take a wide stance on, on your mat. Um, I remember old school days, you know, when I was, teach, you know, I was taking yoga class when I first started, they said, oh, from your wrist down to your foot. Something like that. <laughs> okay. So what, what is important is that the toes are pointing forward. Toes, knees, hips pointing forward. Okay. So we're going to take a forward fold, bring the fingertips to the floor. Okay, and this, if this is pretty intense, you just stay here for a little bit, kind of let the backs of the legs open. And then we're going to deepen it a little bit. Take the right hand on fingertips in front of the right foot. We're going to cross the left hand to the outside of the right shin, and we're going to give a little bit of energy inwards with the hand, so the shin is actually pressing in. And then we're going to fold in. That feels pretty good. Okay. Let's take it to the other side. Left hand on fingertips. Right hand to the outer edge of the left shin. We're going to draw in with the right hand as we fold in. And kind of to be effective with these openers, I didn't practice before this because I wanted to see if my, my opening technique served the purpose. So I hope it does. It's, it's working for me. 
a uh, couple more breaths here. Ooh, yeah, just got a nice opening in the hamstrings. Sweet. Okay, come back to center. Lift and open the heart. Fold in. Take your hands to your hips. Rise to stand. Okay, so we're going to keep the legs wide. Like Actually, bring them in just a little bit. Toes out, 45 degree. And we're going to just take like a nice, I don't even know what this is called. I was, I was writing out the sequence. I was like, did this call saddle pose? Or I don't remember. If you know what it is, just put it down below in the comments. And, and, uh, and then next time I record a video, I will treat it as if it was mine and I was intelligent and I came up with it. <laughs> So hands on the knees. Now this is, this is going to feel sweet. As you ground down to your hands, just let the pelvis get super heavy. And then we're going to bring the left shoulder forward and towards the right. It's kind of just a little bit, uh, little bit of a twist going on there. But there's, the pelvis is still heavy. Okay. And this form of the pelvis getting heavy, we're going to need that when we sit onto the hands in Titi Now, If you don't know what I'm talking about, either you can fast forward to see the full form of the pose. Uh, Google it or just trust me. <laughs> yeah, trust me. Spectacular mistake. All right, come back to center and cross it over to the other side. I feel less coordinated on the side for some reason. <laughs> oh, feels good. All right, come back to center. Stretch out the legs. Ooh, it's already feeling nice and open there. Okay, we'll do one more hip opener, malasana, squatting pose. Okay, so it's just like we did in the, in the saddle pose, toes are pointing out, knees are pointing in the same direction as the feet. I'm going to come in this direction, okay? And if you have a hard time getting your heels to the floor, you can put some blocks. I have some blocks next to my mat to show the pose later. You can just put those under your heels. Totally cool. Bring your hands in prayer pose. And with your hands in prayer pose, I'm going to press out against my legs, against the inner edges of the knees, but I'm going to press in with my knees, and I'm using that energy to move the heart up, lengthen the spine. Now I can feel this going much, much deeper into my hips than the last pose. Okay. And I chose this pose because this is, we're going to have to kind of squat down to get onto the hands for Titibhasana, so this is already moving us in the right direction. And you can, you know, we're still doing the wrist opening here. You can work the fingers super strong. Okay, have a seat. So I'm going to use uh, two blocks to show uh, this, the, the, the beginners, like we'll call it stage one. Uh, stage one is going to be Dwi Pada Bujasana or Bhuji Padasana. That's how I learned it. And I generally don't use blocks, but I chose blocks because there may be people who can't get their hands to the floor. And totally cool, all right? So, but when you're using blocks, you've got to be super mindful of one, that they don't slip or they're not collapsing like the foam blocks. If they're too soft. Um, and also, you may, you, you, may not, you may not want to go into the full form of the pose because if you lose your balance and fall backwards, uh, we don't want you to hurt yourself, okay? So I'm just placing the blocks slightly behind me. Take a wide-legged stance. And I'm going to take a squat, just like the malasana pose we were just doing. And I just put my hands onto the blocks, okay? Here, the pelvis starts to get heavy. And then as I lean back, I just look for this point where my feet can start to lean, leave the floor. So Padasana is just crossing one foot over the other, okay? Just like that. And then bring it down. And I'm going to take the blocks out. Okay. So if you're struggling to just get the hands on the blocks, just work the hip openers that we did before and work it gradually. Okay. We don't ever want to jump steps or skip too far ahead because that's when we can injure ourselves. So I'm going to now go from uh, Bhujipadasana form into Titibhasana, the full pose. All right. And as I go into the full pose, uh, I will be describing the whole thing, and the you know for me as I've explained in the last video, uh, the arm balance jam. This is a pose that I've been working towards for for many many years, and I just never thought I could do it. And in the last year or so, I started to realize that I could straighten my legs. And I think it was just mainly because I was never practicing, and I, I just assumed I couldn't do it, so I just took it out of my practice. I was like, fuck it, I'm not doing it. So, uh, but, that, so, but when I started to do it, I was like, oh, it's there, okay. So we're going to do the same thing that we just did for Bhujibhadasana. I'm going to place my hands flat on the floor, 
And then I start to shift the legs back until the feet get light. Now, the difference with Bhujibhadasana and Titibhasana is right here in Titibhasana, the legs start to go straight, okay, like that. And release to release, you lean forward or kind of just melt backwards. <laughs> I have many, many videos and photos of the total collapse, okay? So let's do it one time together. I'm going to talk you through it. Um, and I know there's some rock stars out there. If you feel so challenged, you can take this to handstand uh, and, you know, take it next level. Or fingertips. I have a couple of videos on fingertips, but it's a, oh, yeah, maybe not today. <laughs> okay, so place the hand, take a squat, place the hands behind the feet, all right? And then we're going to start to shift the hips back get until the legs become light. And then now it's just a stretching from the knees. Stretch it out, stretch it out, stretch it out, stretch it out. Wow. See that? Then you can take that too. Wow, handstand. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So there you go. Titi Basana. It's a fun arm balance. And uh, if you're not able to get into the full form of the pose or you're struggling with the, with the squatting and placing the hands, take your time. Take it easy and build it in stages, okay? I hope that helps you. Have a great day. And again, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I love you, and we'll see you soon. Bye.